Hey guys, this is Viron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So before I start this video, I will apologize already for any background noise you could be hearing. That's because the neighbor has started or restarted the construction addition to their house. So there will be a lot of hammering and metals banging and clanging together and loud people talking and shouting to each other. I will try to minimize or edit that out as much as possible, but if you do hear it, I am sorry. Yeah, so just ignore it. But anyway, for this video, we are doing a traditional drawing. I am using watercolors again today. And the paper we are using is the uh, Fabriano Aquarello Artistico Extra White 100% Cotton Hot Press Paper at 300 GSM. So I've had this paper since last year-ish. I'm not really sure anymore, but I haven't, I haven't been using this for a while because when I started the Flora series, that was on a small piece of paper too, so in between doing the Flora series installments, I wanted to do like stuff on bigger papers, so I ended up neglecting my Fabriano papers for a little bit. Also, if you haven't checked it out, please do check out the Flora series, it's about, or I draw flowers according to the birth month or birth flower type of thing and yeah so it's actually interesting because like the flora series i do it in really tiny paper and then like the knights of the round table series for fate grand order it's a series of fan arts i do it in a really big paper but anyway <laughs> i digress let's go back to this drawing so the concept for this as you probably can see in the title was a moon prince and the idea came about when my brain sort of like rabbit holed into itself. I was either tired or feverish and I was traveling in the bus when I thought of all of this. So, okay. So, as you know, or if you probably know in media, usually the moon is associated or linked to a feminine symbol. Or it's a very feminine representation of things and the sun is usually rather masculine so in greek mythology that would be like artemis and apollo it's like how you know the word lunacy uh supposedly came from the word or it has its root in luna because when girls have their period it's like tied supposedly to the waxing and waning of the moon and <laughs> things like that so the moon is usually feminine, and there are a lot of media that already sort of reverse that, and there are a lot of depictions already of a reversed symbolism of sort, but I did want to do my own take on it. And I just wanted to draw like a moon prince or like the symbol or like a person personification of the moon. Um, that's a guy, I guess. I don't know. That's just like an idea, I think. So I wanted to draw a guy with very moon-ish vibes so uh, a lot of whites and and blues and like sort of flowy clothing i don't know because like you know how the moon the moon's gravity supposedly affects tidal waves um so i wanted to give that flowy vibe to it to him at least so that's how his design came about and now that i think about it he kind of looks like Yue from Cardcaptor Sakura, and I won't deny that uh, Cardcaptor Sakura has a huge influence on me since a kid. I won't deny any unintentional <laughs> unintentional influence to that, but hey, it's, uh, you are me. No, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? So the original concept for this is that I wanted him sort of curled up around the moon. Like he was hugging it to his chest. But then I was already sketching it out. I tried several poses and it really didn't seem... I don't know. I, I guess because of my skill too. But it didn't. It looked a little weird. It, it wasn't really all that balanced. So I didn't want him super close up to, to the viewer either. So I just put the moon behind him in the end. And I think it turned out pretty nice because I didn't want to obscure too much of his outfit either because I kind of like how his design turned out. So I guess there's that too. 
<laughs> but I kind of do like how the composition turned out in the end. Um, it's more open towards the viewer and I don't know, like having the moon behind him look pretty cool too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to do with him was I wanted to sort of draw him like floating in water. And this is something I did a lot when I was younger. I for some reason really liked doing this kind of theme. Um, but I really liked having like the edges of the water sort of like touch or infringe a little bit on his body so you can see him like, you see a little, a little bit of water or blue on his outfit because he's like slightly immersed in it and I just like, I sort of like how it turned out. Uh, yeah, um, despite the color palette being rather limited to mostly blues, I kind of like I don't know. It looks really cohesive, and the it the white or the the light colors of the background sort of mixed well with his outfit, and it is really put together. I think. So the watercolors we're using, I'm actually using all three pads that I own. I'm using the um, Prima Marketing watercolor confections and the complexions palette for his skin. I also use the Sakura Koi watercolors for some elements of his clothing in the background. And I'm mostly using the Kure Tahiganthai Tambi watercolors. I picked this because I feel like I'm not using it a lot recently. Um, because it acts differently than usual western watercolors, I really need to practice it before. I, I just don't need to use it a lot so that I don't neglect it and not use it. So I'm trying to use it a lot more now than before. We'll see how that turns out. But I will still end up mixing the palettes because some colors that are available in the Sakura Koi, I just want that particular color. So yada yada yada. <laughs> you get the point. Um, yeah. I did enjoy doing this piece. For some reason, I was really relaxed and sort of inspired while making this. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I like doing companion pieces. So do expect to see a sun princess after this. I'm not sure it'll be if it'll be the next video after this, but because I really do love the concept and I'm really inspired by this theme, I will do a sun princess. Probably in the same paper, just so that it's the same size and all of that. So one thing I noticed was that when the paint dries, I think on this particular paper, um, it tends to flatten down and even out a little bit. I noticed this in two, the past two drawings I've done for this paper, but when I've been working on my cold press papers, uh, the way that the paint layers when it's sort of still wet, when it dries, it still sort of retains that layering look. So if it's patchy, like on the upper left of my drawing right now, if I did that on cold press and I left it patchy like that, it will probably still look like that when it dries. But I noticed when I sort of like scanned this, I noticed when I scanned the next day that the background actually flattened down and evened out, so it saved me. But I think it's because of three things, and I'm not sure which exactly is doing it. I think it's the paper. I think it's either because the paper is cotton I th or because the paper is hot pressed or it could be the paint. Or it could be all three to be honest. Because the cold press for the Fabriano is only 25% cotton <coughs> and it's cold pressed. But it does retain the layering. But this hot press is 100% cotton and the way that the paints flow on them is a bit different than another hot press I've tried before. So it could be the cotton part of it. But it did save me because at, at this part that you're seeing right now, I thought I completely messed it up because like, oh no, the black is too black, it's too dark. It completely covered up the blue in the background. But when I scanned it, as I said, it sort of mixed and evened out. So it did save me this time, but it's an interesting effect or it's an interesting thing. 
Because yeah. I'm not used to that. Phew. Anyway, I go see you. Anyway, I, go, I hope. What the heck? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, follow me or subscribe to me or like the video if you enjoyed it. I do a lot of art in general. Fan art, concept art like this. I just do them. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt for whips and stuff like that. And I will see you around. Mm -hmm.